feel like a lot of this year has been me getting over the fear of being seen trying like i saw somebody else say and not even just the fear of trying but the fear of other people not only seeing me succeed but possibly fail you know channel i've never done a little intro before just like introducing myself but i feel like as the end of the year it comes to a close it just feels right hi my name is diva i go by diva the libra diva the libra on this channel um because i'm a libra my name is diva who would have thought I'm happy for anybody who's here and who's joined me in the very short time that i've been on youtube it's only been like a couple of months but i already feel more comfortable here than I thought it would be. I guess just like talking to the camera and getting more comfortable. By the time I post this, there will be 23 days left in December and 23 days left in 2023, which feels so jarring to say because as everybody always says, like, where does the time go? If that means that there's only so many days left in December, I don't know. Like, it's so jarring to think that like, uh, that means it's already been like, what, two-ish? Maybe like a year and a half at this point since I've graduated from college six months ish since I started my first like post-grad job and just like a lot of other times since I figured out like a lot of other things about myself so I feel like it just felt like nice and like really poignant and just like made sense to do what I'm about to do on TikTok I came across no one look at my case it's like really gross <laughs> I saw this thing on TikTok of somebody doing like end of year introspection that they do and like questions they ask themselves I'm um, going into the new year and I feel like as I'm starting these kind of like video diaries and vlogging my life I just want to keep this for the memory of like when I'm 24 and 25 and like all of those different ages I can just look back on my 23rd year and be like yeah this is what's changed this is what's made me not change but let's just jump right into it the first question is if you could describe 2023 in three words, what would they be? Also, I haven't, like, I mean, I scrolled through these questions before, like, I started, but I haven't really, like, sat down and thought about them. So, like, a lot of this, to be honest, is, like, off the dome, which is, well, maybe I should have thought this out a bit more beforehand. But if you describe 2023 in three words, what would they be? To be honest, I feel like, if I'm being, like, honestly really transparent, I feel like the first thing that would come to mind would be lonely. If you've been on my channel for, like, the last two seconds, you've seen that I've talked, like, a bit about just like not necessarily like the post-grad loneliness of not living near your friends anymore but just realizing that so much of what you enjoyed about college was just being in community with other people who were kind of in the same place that you were like you walk down the hall there's your friend you go to class there's somebody you know like you go to lunch there's maybe like an acquaintance you pass like all the time when you're getting like cereal and just that sense of like being tethered to somebody in a sense and just being at the same place and time with them if you know i moved to a state that i've never person like lived in before after college I don't know any of my childhood friends and any of my college friends particularly and so it's been a interesting transition and so like it's brought up some feelings of loneliness I thought about this a lot when I was an RA in college I say that to mean like I didn't necessarily live like really close to the friends that I had made my first year of college and I was really scared about like developing like loneliness like our, our campus could be like a fairly isolated place and I was just like afraid that I was going to just be really lonely to be for real and i also lived in a single for the first time so there was no kind of buffer of there being a roommate somebody who you at least could come to at the end of the day and say like hi and stuff i feel like that's when i really started to think about like the difference between like loneliness and being alone in that more often than not like i enjoy my alone time but that doesn't mean that like i enjoy like doing things myself going to the library like going to lunch things like that but that doesn't i, I think a lot of people especially in times of people were being like oh like learn to spend time by yourself. I'm like, I enjoy so much of the time I spend by myself, but I think that doesn't negate and is never going to get rid of the fact that like, as humans, I think we just strive for like, to be around people and be in community with them. And so I think a lot of this had been just like, really reframing my idea of like, also how I pursue friendships. I think like, I'm so used to kind of them, not like falling into my life, like friendships take like, effort and work and like, hardship is something i've like learned not like in like a this is like terrible sense but just in like a sense of like it takes effort on like both ends to become friends and i was so used to just like kind of being in the same right place at the right time and yeah that can happen like in your 20s post-grad of course but um you just have to get used to that feeling of like really putting in the next step or like next step and like more effort to like combat that feeling of loneliness if that makes sense you know oh that was long-winded i'm not gonna spend as much time on the other words the lonely I would say the other word would be trying. I just, I, w I said this before, but like I tried a lot of things this year. Um, actually last year I joined TikTok. Um, but it feels like this year I was like a lot more active on it. Just like putting myself out there for the world to see like 
my creative work, just who I am as a person. I feel like on YouTube, social media in general, the fear of just like being perceived and like other people seeing you try, fail, succeed, all of that stuff. And I feel like I've just, not like I'm ever going to get kind of like over that, but I feel like I keep seeing these videos lately, especially of like somebody showing that like we are like so small on this like very huge like very huge planet in the, like this very wide and huge galaxy and that is not to say like our feelings and like the things we do do not matter as much but it's just one of those things that's like diva you're embarrassed for one second one second in like the grand scheme of things and so just put yourself out there put your work out there and like i feel like i've formed so many great like connections relationships just like also i guess like i've really been really proud of myself for like putting myself out there and like trying new things for anybody who's afraid to take that leap to like take that new step like you really do have to be like your biggest supporter i saw somebody say this is like unfortunately more often than not the world can be like a very not kind place and so you like especially as like a black woman like you have to be like the person standing over your shoulder being like you can do this and i feel like that's something i've really started to internalize as well and i feel like the last word would be new i feel like in the sense of like trying i've tried a lot of new things this year um not like tried but like i got a new job i started forming like new relationships like new friendships which has been like just like daunting and scary but i think like i'm also getting out of the mindset of like just because something is new i guess also the word could be maybe new or change like just because something is changing doesn't mean it's necessarily like bad and that's something i always kind of knew but like in the moment it doesn't feel like as like oh change is like a beautiful thing like once you're actually going through that change it can feel actually just like really scary but some of like the greatest things in my life have been born from like change and just like putting myself in like a new mindset a new environment so i think those are the three words i would choose lonely trying and new slash change so i'm kind of cheating so forward what was the biggest lesson this year taught you i would say the biggest lesson this year taught me is that i think kind of akin to what i said before is that like you have to be your biggest supporter it's always great of course to have a network of community and people behind you like when i go to the gc and like i share my vlogs or my videos and like my friends are always like hyping me up and i'm like yeah it's always like it's such a great feeling to have that and like like a community i show my mom my videos and she's like yeah this is like great he posts this <laughs> there are people behind you who just love and support you and like push you to be like better and do what you do but you really do have to be your biggest supporter i feel like i'm saying this is somebody who like not always assumes like the worst thing is gonna happen but like i do feel like i'm kind of pessimistic <laughs> to say the least and there's nothing wrong with being a little overly cautious like it, it is good especially in the world of like putting your life online it is good to be cautious but just like always assuming that like the worst is gonna happen i said this in like my bumble bff date video that like if you assume the worst is gonna happen, sometimes it does, <laughs> to be for real, because sometimes that thinking will lead to like the worst thing happening. And so I feel like more so I'm just thinking of the mindset of what if you like believed in yourself? What if you thought that like a really good thing was gonna happen? What if you were just like optimistic about this? And it's not like, I guess I'm framing it like I'm like a really big Debbie Downer. It's not necessarily that, but just like always kind of going in situations with like a feeling of like, oh, what if something goes wrong? What if something like happens? That kind of just like anxiousness. And it's not something that never necessarily ever goes away, but I think more so just like trying to combat it with the feeling of like, you want to see yourself win, Diva. I want to see you like put your best foot forward, you know? And then if things don't work well, then you know you tried your hardest. Um, it's like kind of that feeling of like, people would always be like, the worst thing they can say is no. And I'd be like, yeah, they, they said no, that is the worst thing that could happen. Now just as I'm getting older, I'm getting older, I'm 23, <laughs> um, it kind of just feels like, okay, they say no, Diva, you just have to keep pushing. You just have to keep pushing, you have to you have to do something else, you have to try a new thing. Because that doesn't mean like the end of the world, you know, like just be, the end of the road doesn't mean like the end of the world, you just gotta pivot sometimes. The third question is, if you could rate this year out of 10, what would it be? Okay, I've only been on this, year, on this world for 23 years and now some change my birthday was literally in september so i've only been 23 for three-ish four-ish months so i guess I mean, i'm trying to compare it to other years of my life that i've lived i guess one being the worst ten being the best i would say it's like a it's like a like a, like a seven or an eight i guess like in the sense that like there is some some things like left to be desired i would love to travel more like next year i would love to like see my friends from college my friend from like high school more just be able to like have the luxury of being able to do a lot of the things that i want to do in like my free time or my life if that makes sense i feel like a lot of this year was like built like doing foundational things that like felt like going towards like my career i got a new job which is like amazing i bought a new car which is also like amazing 
but there are of course like things just left to be desired in the sense of like I wish I could just be like a little bit more adventurous this year just trying to do things like push myself out of my comfort zone just like a little bit so I would say in the sense that like I think things went fairly well this year <laughs> like knock on wood there's like a couple of days left I would say it's like a seven or an eight because I also like did a lot of fun things this year not to like take away from that I went to Puerto Rico for the first time I've done my book journal which I'm gonna talk about at length in like another video but like that has been like my biggest sense of like comfort my favorite hobby that I started this year at the end of last year and then like really continued this year and it feels like interesting like as I'm reflecting on this I feel like I'm always like, even as I think about it I was like okay maybe this year was like a four like a five not in like a, it was awful sense but I'm like nothing really happened it felt like but as I'm reflecting on it I'm like oh actually Diva, a lot of things did happen. You got a new job, you got a new car. You did get to travel even though it wasn't as much as you wanted to. You went on like a mobile BFF date for the first time. So I feel like you see even in real time, I'm trying to like implement the things I'm reflecting on. It's just like, give yourself a give yourself a pat on the back. I would say like a seven, and, seven or an eight, like definitely towards the higher side. I, I liked 2023. I think for some reason, because I'm just really into even numbers. I mean, the 2023 just felt so odd last year, but I'm like, I like the way this year turned out I think so who was the most prominent person of your year myself <laughs> that sounds that sounds really cocky but I'm like I spent a lot of time I and with myself this year a lot of time like redecorating my room kind of making it like a cozy space it's like kind of gloomy today some of you guys can't appreciate it in its full like capacity but I spent a lot of time by myself this year driving around doing more things filming myself just kind of orienting myself and thinking about like what do you want for the next like span of your life i think like i also spent a lot of time like really thinking about the future um which at times was so crushing <laughs> um and then i started to kind of leaning more into like okay i'm always somebody who had like a very long-term plan for their life even when they were younger i was like okay go to college get a job be happy get married all that stuff i feel like once i graduated i was like okay diva we need to take it like one step at a time <laughs> like one step at a time more so just because i think i've said this before i like kind of giving myself like the rigidness of like okay this is the path you want to be on like these are your goals set like milestones especially like for like youtube of course like i have like goals and milestones for myself that i want to set but more so just like diva what if you diverge from that path a little bit like what if you just look towards like next year as opposed to like the next like decade i think it's good to have like a long-term plan but i really just sat with myself this year and was like okay diva let's think about like what you want like your 2023 your 2024 to be like as opposed to like your 2036 and it's really reframed things for me and like okay like just think about like the next thing diva think about like the next thing in your life that you really just want to quote unquote like go well or like set a goal for yourself as opposed to just kind of stressing yourself out with that your whole life has to be like planned out in like this very particular way which is more stressful than like exciting to be honest so i would say yeah i spend a lot of time with myself and i feel like i'm i feel like i'm like constantly like falling in love with myself just always just like appreciating myself i guess like i always think about it like I remember somebody said that, like when you're mean to yourself like look in the mirror and just like imagine like the very little version of yourself like would you be saying that to her and it's like no I would tell her that I love her and so I feel like I've just been it's not always easy of course there's ups and downs and all those things and it's like oh my god I'm alone I'm, I'm not doing anything blah blah but I feel like I really enjoy my company and that's like one of the things why I, even though I'm lonely I often don't mind being alone because I'm like just you gotta be your best friend sometimes too what aspects of your life felt like they were aligned this year? What aspects of my life? I guess I'm going to interpret this question of like what felt like it came together the best. I feel like my relationship with social media, if that makes sense, that's how I'm going to interpret this question. I feel like I'd always stressed a lot over social media and not to say like I don't stress over it now, that'd be like kind of disingenuous and untrue to be for real. But I feel like I really used to put like a lot of pressure on social media if like one thing wasn't right, I would stare at the picture for the longest time, I'd be like this isn't right, this isn't right. And of course there's nothing wrong with wanting to put like your best image self out to the world like of course that's what a lot of people's like social media is that's what mine kind of is in the sense to be for real like you want to show people like the highlights of your life and there's absolutely like nothing wrong with that but i think it was becoming like less and less fun in a way that i was like even diva isn't this supposed to be like your social media like not like a story you're trying to tell other people exactly if that makes sense and so i feel like i just started really reframing it as like do you just like have fun with it like what do you want to do? What content do you want to see like on your TikTok or your YouTube or your Instagram? Like how do you want to have fun with your social media? And so I feel like when those started really to align, it felt like so much more freeing and more like, oh, I'm going to like post this today or like do this today or like plan out how to like post this on a like later day. And it made things just like 
feel like they were coming like together a lot more seamlessly and I feel like once I did that I also feel like at least when it comes to like different channels I was able to like I guess grow them a, little, a bit more as opposed to like when I tried to like do like what do of course it's like in a sense when it comes to social media like what do people want to see but I was also like diva like what do you want to put out to the world like especially when it comes to like things about myself like vlogging or like books reviews or things like that it's like what do you want to tell the world about like your opinions or your thoughts or like yourself and once I started seeing it like I feel like a lot of people are on this like make social media fun again <laughs> campaign so I think that's what I would say I would interpret that question so those are two versions of my two things of myself that I felt like aligned really well like myself and my social media I feel like they aligned really well this year I I'm happy with the path like we're going on. What aspects of your life no longer serve you? I talked about this with my mom recently. I feel like when it comes to relationships, mostly like friendships, I've never particularly dated anyone. <laughs> like love life wise. And so when it comes to like friendships, like that's what most of the relationships in my life have revolved around. And I feel like I used to take things very I feel like one, as I've gotten like older, I've thought about like, okay, is this person like a friend? Are they an acquaintance? Are they just like somebody you like pass by and you guys say like, hi? Um, I feel like I used to take things like very seriously in the sense of like, I always used to like, not very quickly try to make people my friends, but like I enjoy making people laugh. I enjoy like being like, hey, haha, <laughs> um, like all those things and like just being friendly with people without understanding that like sometimes the energy is just like not reciprocated. Like everybody is not gonna be your friend. Um, Diva, you don't always have to be the first person that reaches out. And like, I feel like once I started like pulling that energy back, it was just like, yeah, Diva, like the people um, who are in your life, like it's of course great to make like new friendships, but I'm just like, I feel like sometimes friendship goes both ways. Like it takes effort on like both parts. And I feel like sometimes I realized that I was very much like person reaching out first. I was just like reflecting on the past sometimes with like friendships I had had before and I was like, it's always nice to be like accountable and like there for your friends. But if you don't see the energy being reciprocated sometimes, it's just like, you have to ask yourself like how much, you know, people are busy sometimes. I also recognize that like we're in our, we're all in our twenties. We're all like in different stages of life. So it's really not so much about that, but I just feel like earlier in my life, it's just like when you're not seeing the energy like reciprocated in the friendships you have sometimes, it's like not even also sometimes like not even taking it like that personally. It's very much so just like maybe we weren't meant to be in each other's life at like this point. And so I feel like what I'm leaving behind or looking at my phone for the question, an aspect of my life that no longer serves me is I feel like trying to hold on to something that maybe like just no longer serves me. Like if sometimes like friendships come into your life for like a season, for like a past, like for a, a moment and like that's fine. And then you just like move on and not everything needs to end like super negatively. It's just like we were friends, maybe we're in different places right now. It's just the way things are and it can sound so callous and mean sometimes but I think I need to start stop framing it as like diva this is like the end of the world if you guys like stop being friends it's just more so just like maybe you guys are not in different you're in different places now and that's the way it be what's one emotion you want to feel more of next year I want to feel more excited just more excited for the things in my life happening more sorry I have a neighbor <laughs> I'm flowing in front of the window so I'm like oh can you see me so I feel more excited for things next year more just like oh I'm going to do this or oh I'm going to travel this this place next year or oh I'm going to film this just like more I guess like looking forward to the things happening and just like really pursuing the things that I want like I want to feel more um excited about like the, maybe the risks that I'm taking um yeah I feel like I live a very quote-unquote like safe life absolutely like I said good to be cautious nothing wrong with that good to have like a little like devil on your shoulder sometimes like hey not devil angel on your shoulder <laughs> like hey maybe like wait, let's like relax about this but i think it's also good to like take a risk because like i feel like sometimes the best things in my life that have happened when i've taken risks and like jumped at the opportunity to like do something different i i'm telling this to somebody who also thinks like the worst thing they can say is they, like the worst thing they can say is no but sometimes they can also say yes and i remember the first time that happened to me i was like I remember this happened with my internship that I had like my first year. I was like, oh, what if I reach out to this person by email and they say no or they don't respond or they're like annoyed or like bothered. Um, and then they responded and we chatted and it led to my first internship that summer. And that would have never happened if I had never like, they were even saying it. They were like, wow, you're like the only person that reached out to me from, they had came, come to my school and like spoke um, at a publishing seminar about like writing workshops, things like that, and about like how they had like pursued their own career in the publishing industry. At the time, I really wanted to like work with like books, like have a career in like publishing. And she was like, You were the only person that reached out to me like after the seminar. She had like handed out her email and her business cards. And then I got to intern um, 
at a place that I had dreamed about interning or just like being a part of for so long, which was like crazy at the time. And I'm like, Diva, that never would have happened if you wouldn't have taken that leap as like a scared, I think I had just turned 18-ish at that point. You had never taken that leap, so yeah what was the question again <laughs> um i want to be more excited how did i even get there i want to be more excited next year i want to take more risks i think if the universe came to you and said you could have one dream granted next year what would it be i mean i'm not gonna sit here and be like more money wouldn't be <laughs> like more money wouldn't be nice i guess like this is like, a very broad term but to be like successful in a sense which maybe the universe would be like that's really vague what do you mean and i would be like oh, um i don't know maybe he would like I'm assuming the universe is the heat, but maybe the universe would leave. The universe asked me if I had a wish that I wanted to be granted. I think it would be success, to find success in my life. And that's a really broad term, but I guess like success in like relationships and friendships, in my making content, like especially in making content. I think that is something that like maybe if the universe asked me, like, yeah, I would want to be successful in like growing my audience and like making content and just like, um, holding on to this feeling I have of just like being really proud and like pushing myself to do new interesting things. I mean, yeah, I feel like it, if I had money, it would solve that. As I've gotten older, I've just learned that like, you can be rich in like so many other ways outside of like money, but when you don't have money, it can make your life difficult. And so I feel like that would open the doors for me to do a lot more things. I'm really happy with the strides I'm making right now, but I feel like it's the universe, I would, I would wish to be successful in like different aspects of my life if i could kind of split that wish into like a little like tiny aspects well i didn't expect that to be the hardest question on this list that i would have to answer as a part apart from like the first one that's interesting standing between you and the best version and being the best version of yourself i feel like there's kind of two parts to this question sometimes it is myself sometimes i feel like i do shoot myself in the foot in the sense of like being scared to do things or being like assuming the worst or just like um, I'm getting honestly better also at like speaking up for myself. Growing up being a people pleaser is that obvious, honestly, the older I've gotten like how harmful that is and I'm like reneging and like, um, what's the word, quote unquote like fixing a lot of that behavior is that like a part of it is that like you yourself and you let other people like stomp all over your boundaries and we're not going to, <laughs> it sounds like easier said than that, but like we're not going to do that anymore. And so sometimes in that aspect, I'm like, oh Diva, you're standing in between yourself and like the quote unquote the best version of yourself because it's like, if you say yes to this or like you don't say no to this when you should have or you seem like agreeable in a way that like maybe you didn't want to be agreeable, it's like you're not only hurting yourself, it's like you're forming like false relationships with like other people and I think this is also recalling back to like the thing I'd say about like friendships that no longer serve you. I think maturing is also looking back on those friendships and being like, was I quote unquote like the best version of myself? Like no, let's be frank diva. It's nice to like look back on history and try to reform everything as like maybe everything I did was like pious and great and everything but I'm like maybe I didn't, maybe I was wrong sometimes. Mostly right. <laughs> but maybe I was wrong sometimes and that's like reflection so sometimes I did think I was like standing in the way of myself but on the other hand i definitely think there's been like outside forces of course like either you had in your life that maybe you realized like didn't like weren't supporting you or like didn't want you to succeed and you were like whoa and you start to internalize that negative energy like maybe i can't do this or maybe i can't do that removing that from your life is also another step in becoming like quote unquote the best version of yourself i feel like i struggle to say like best version of myself because i feel like i have like so much maturing maturing in the sense of just like I think I'm a pretty mature person, but I'm also like 23. I like to, I, in my head, I think I'm like, I'm, I'm of course like an adult, but like, I'm like, quote unquote, like a baby adult, like a young adult. I'm like, I feel like I have like my hippocampus, like not my hippocampus, like my front lobe hasn't fully formed. I feel like I still have so much of my life to live and so many experiences to kind of inform the life I want to live that, and the, inform the best version of myself that I want to become, that I'm like, I don't, think of my best version of myself now just by nature but just by virtue of the fact that i'm like i feel like i have so much more time hopefully become my before i become the best version of myself i feel like there's always at least for myself and i feel like for other people in their 20s can maybe kind of agree that there's really this big push to achieve everything you wanted as a teenager like in your 20s and then like people in their 30s are like um, you still have like so much time. The people in their 40s are like, you still have so much time. People in their 50s are like, you still have so much time. But I think there's like this overwhelming rush to really solidify your life and do everything that you want to do like when you haven't even lived that much of your life in your 20s i feel like once you leave being a teenager um it can feel like oh okay well i've left like my youth behind but it's like no me and my friend who's also 23 talk about this we're like we're actually still like pretty young <laughs> we thought like when we were 23 and i talked about this with like all of my friends at large that like when oh my god I'm talking so fast let's slow down diva 
I thought that when I became 23 or even just like when I entered my 20s that I was just gonna feel like this new sense of clarity or becoming an adult that was just gonna be very different than maybe like when I was even like 22 or 21 but I'm like no <laughs> like of course as the years move by I gain like more knowledge more sense of self like I feel like I grow I'm growing more into myself but as much as I love I love the version of myself that I am right now I would like to think that there's like more to come so to answer this question I do feel like What's, what's stopping me from becoming the best version of myself? Myself sometimes, of course, like outside influences, but I also feel like sometimes just like by virtue of time, like I'm the best version of myself now to exist in my 23rd year, if that makes sense. But I feel like in my 24th year, I would want it to be a different version. 25th year, like not in the sense of like, I want to change my personality, but just in the sense of like, I hope with time, honestly comes like more wisdom, if that makes sense. We're getting towards the end of the, well, actually there's like three things left. <laughs> I was maybe at the end end. What are you ready to release to be the highest version of yourself? I think I'm ready to release like being scared. Like I think sometimes I just really think about those videos. It's like, this is not to say like your decisions don't matter because then it sends you into like another spin of like, oh my God, like why are we on this floating rock in the middle of like, who even, somebody's car alarm is going off. But who even knows why they like put us here in like this earth and like this world in the middle of like nowhere. And it's like, whoa, that will also send you into like a tizzy. I think my point that I'm trying to make is that like just re release like being like scared I think in just a sense of like oh my god what if this decision that I make is gonna lead to like the wrong decision which leads to like the wrong decision which leads to like the worst thing ever but it's like do you in the grand scheme of things like this is your life I think that's also something that like if I want to become the highest version of myself like releasing myself from the idea that like this isn't my life to live I don't know I don't know if anybody else ever feels like sometimes that like you have like a little controller and like you're playing the game of life <laughs> if that makes sense but just in the sense of like this is my life to live maybe i only have like this one life to live um and releasing myself from that sense of like being scared about other things i'm like not like this this sounds like simpler said than done but i like to become the highest version of myself i feel like i really just need to not even like get rid of getting rid of because i feel like it'll be honestly it's hard to get rid of that voice in the back of your head that's like telling you like oh you're gonna fail or like you're not gonna do well or things like that um but more so just like really quieting it or like drowning it out with other things like no it is gonna go well you are gonna succeed you are not gonna fail and if you do fail you are gonna pick yourself back up and like try again and i think that's what's gonna help me become like the highest version of myself just like really believing in myself even when it feels like hard wait this is the last question which feels i i don't know i feel like this is like maybe the most vulnerable video that like i'm going like if for, at least for the foreseeable future that i'm going to like post on this channel and so i feel like i don't know but i'm just like looking forward to being like honest with myself in this way and so thank you guys for being here for whoever is watching what are three things you can do to get to the next year slash like next stage of your life um i guess such, i guess the assumption is like to make it like the most positive three things i'm going to bring into the new year basically or just like to implement is like one having fun i feel like not like i don't have enough fun i love having fun i love going out um, i love like forming new hobbies doing things um, with my book journal which i'm going to talk about at one point in another video because i just want to show other people it but three things i would take into the new year just to really make sure that i honestly i'm gonna frame this question as like what am i gonna do in the new year to really kick it off in a way that makes it so i'm like setting myself up for like success and i feel like one thing is just like I'm like a broken record but like not stopping i feel like i would just want to be like so consistent with my content with social media with like um just being creative i always wanted to be a writer since i was younger i did a lot of poetry in college and in high school for a while to be honest like i lost my spark and i feel like i want to it's, it's coming back and it's coming back um and so i'm going to take that into the new year just like really believing that i can you can't do anything that you honestly like put your mind to in the sense of like you want to see it happen so just like believing myself to having a plan like i was saying like it's i don't stress yourself out with having like some like decade-long plan that you're never gonna be able to achieve but it's good to have like a plan in place for like okay diva you're gonna take like this solo trip next year like i want to take a solo trip next year like i want to go on a trip by myself just like to another place and just like see what that's like because i've never done that like in a global sense before i want to try new things i want to take that step out of my comfort zone and just like put myself out there and so yeah i think that'll be that'll be fun and then lastly okay, would you guys believe that like as i was just about to film the end of this video um, i said like i had like no space in my memory card i don't know that just feels like very interesting like divine timing and that like moving into like a new phase of my life anyway the last thing that i'm gonna bring into 2024 just to like set myself up for success oh my God, why is everybody interrupting me <laughs> um to set myself up for success is just like 
believing that the best version of myself, I guess, is like achievable like soon, sooner rather than later, you know, like just that good things are gonna happen that and that not just good things are gonna happen that like I am going to make those good things happen. I feel like I have this, it's good to like just leave things up to the universe, but also just the idea that like, Diva, you have the power and the will to make things go the way you want them to in the best way possible. And so that's what I'm going to bring into the new year. Thank you everybody for watching. I feel like this was just very uh, stressful, but also cathartic to like reflect on the past year. And I can't believe that we're going into 2024. What do you bring into 2024 to like become either like quote unquote the best version of yourself or just like to kick off 2024 on like the new, on your best foot? I would love to know. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the new year too. I'm so looking forward. I'm so looking forward to like what this channel is going to bring and all the stuff I'm going to post here and just like going to the new year with you guys. So bye. Thank you.